probably fewer of them consider themselves to be woke. What does that mean to you? So, guys, let's settle this once and for all because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing blathering right-wing people, politicians, writers, board housewives, Karens, keep demonizing the word woke and saying that it's dangerous to their children and the, the culture of woke is destroying people's lives. I'm tired of it because we see from Bethany Mandel's video, which I will link below in the comments, she had no idea what the definition of woke was and she just wrote a book about how dangerous it is to how dangerous it is for society. She just wrote a book, a whole book about how dangerous it is for children and society. Of course, she is, I mean, and she's Jewish. I don't understand. She's Jewish. Her people have been persecuted. How, how, how on earth? Anyway, you know what, guys? We're going to talk about this. I'm going to clarify this once and for all for you because it's really just that simple. So, the first mention of woke was in 1938. The phrase stay woke was a part spoken by the black American folk singer songwriter Huddy Ledbetter, or known as Lead Belly, and it was spoken after the recording to his song Scottsboro Boys, which tells the story of nine black teenagers and young men falsely accused of raping two white women in Alabama in 1931. Now, stay woke has become a term that has been used within the black community, and very recently it has been appropriated in other parts of culture. It doesn't just have to do with rape, doesn't just have to do with black and white, it ultimately just means standing up to injustice, standing up for marginalized people, speaking up for what is right. It is literally just urging people to be aware of racism and aware of unfair treatment of black and marginalized people. The definition is exactly the same today. The context might be different, but the definition is exactly the same. But the far right has so impeccably and unbelievably, they're so impeccably and unbelievably scared of the negativity that might bring their heads out of the clouds. And that comes this vilification. Guys, we all face uncertainties in life. Society faces all kinds of uncertainties. But stop othering people. Please stop othering people, okay? Especially stop othering victims. That's really basically what it comes down to. So um, I hope that helps you conservative folks out there who really just can't understand woke and who keep vilifying it, which we really know what you are vilifying and it's the origins of where that comes from. Black people. So just if you want to say I hate black people, just go ahead and say I hate black people because you choosing to, okay, now it's more than two minutes. I'm sorry, but I, I, I got I to got, I got get this out. You choosing to vilify, especially this Jewish woman, it's like, girl, your people were persecuted. Your people were persecuted. And black people have been persecuted for centuries now. But we can't, we can't have vernacular that talks about not being persecuted, about staying aware of the injustices in society and combating them. No, you would rather us be asleep. Is that what it is? You would rather us be asleep? Guys, you make yourself look so uneducated, so intolerant, and so emotionally devoid of anything similar to, to emotional intelligence or, or compassion or empathy or, or even just the, the ability to care about a, a group of people outside of your own. I really would like to ask Bethany Mandel... And also Ron DeSantis, I would like to ask both of these people, do you have any real black friends? Do you have any real Asian friends? Do you have any real Latino friends? Do you? So, yeah. Woke is basically the idea of being aware of the injustices that happen around you and having the courage to speak up to do something about them. So I'm so sorry that that's so dangerous to your kids. So sorry. 
But those of us out here who have been marginalized and our peoples have been marginalized for since centuries, your your vilification of us ain't going to do shit. We have to keep speaking up. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think of this video and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell. That way you'll know whenever I post a video. Okay, bye.